Hello and welcome back to Project Supercar and welcome to my attic. This is a bit of a strange intro to any uh, YouTube video. I hope this video comes out alright. So what am I doing in my attic? Well, I'll come to that in a sec. Now, I was in two minds whether to film this or not. Now, I know some of you have subscribed because you're interested in the prototype. And some of you are also interested in the strip down of the new 2.7T donor car. And I think some of you might be interested in the behind the scenes or the story, if you will. So. I think what we'll have to do is go back downstairs and I'll explain what I'm doing in my attic. So, in my garage, as you probably know, I have the new Audi A6 2.7T donor car. Now, I'm planning on an episode where I'm going to strip out the wiring loom from this car. And to do that, I'm going to have to pull out the carpet and the headliner. To be able to remove the wiring loom from this donor car, I'm going to have to pull out the carpet and also remove the headliner from this donor car. But I'm running out of space to put all these parts that I'm stripping off this car. But there's a bit of a problem. As you can see, I've got a whole load of bits and pieces on top of this donor car. And this garage is getting a little bit too cramped. And this carport is filling up fast as well. And then I've got all this stuff. And this is proving to be a little bit of a pain because I'm struggling to put the camera over here so I can get the shots in. So I need a place to put this and this. And this. And these bits and pieces. Oh, and there's a bonnet over there. So I'm going to have to get a little bit organised and find a place for all these bits and pieces. Because when I pull out that carpet and that headliner from that A6 2.7T donor car, I need somewhere for it to go before I can pull out that wiring loom. So anyway, last week I did a bit of a trip and bought these industrial size racking units. Just got back from a bit of a road trip to pick these shelves up. Oh. I hope I haven't scratched the leather up. so I'll have to get the angle grinder out but before I do that I've got to clear the attic out so I've got some space to put my shelf in so I'll see you back up in my attic this junk out before I can put my shelving in. Woohoo! I'm looking forward to that. 
No. and clear I've got somewhere to work that over there isn't I'm gonna to have to sort all that out that's gonna be fun anyway time to get my tape measure out and uh, decide where I'm gonna start chopping these shelves up after a quick measure up in the attic it looks like I only need about 110 centimeters off this thing so I've got the old uh, tape measure out Angle grinder out, chop, chop, move this, we should be good. I know this uh, video is about 10-15 minutes long, but this is just taking me all day. Anyway, there it is. Shelves are done. Now all I've got to do is have a clear out of the attic, get all my car spares organised and put onto this shelf. And uh, yeah, that's going to take some time. So I'm going to be spending the next two or three weeks, I reckon, sorting this out. I'm not going to bother filming that. But uh, once I've done all this and I've done about ten trips to the skip, I'll get back onto the um, donor car and I'll start making some more videos. And on the next episode, we'll be pulling the wiring loom out of that Audi 2.7T. Now all I've got to figure out is where I'm going to put all this stuff. <laughs> 
So that'll do for this episode, and I'll see you on the next one, whenever that is. <laughs>